Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for the 30th. This is for whoever it resonates with, January 30th. We're just going to see whatever comes up. And what do we got for January 30th? Something is moving very, very slowly with the Knight of Pentacles. You know, that Judgment card, that's some sort of awakening. Rising up. So it's like somebody is slowly waking up. Slowly. Lack of communication because of insecurities. It's like this opportunity. It's a lost opportunity here. With the Ace of Pentacles reversed. Like a big old opportunity is being lost. That's a big one too. Somebody, it's like somebody may take the gold. Interesting. Lack of communication. Loss of power. Somebody's losing their power over a situation because they can't communicate. They're willing, they're not willing to share, they're not willing to open up. They're losing an they're losing a big opportunity. Slowly waking up though. Oh, the King of Swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Giving up. Seven of Pentacles reversed. It's like there's no growth here. Wasted time. Unrealistic. Dissatisfied. There's some opposition here. It's like this person is in the process of making a serious decision as to whether they should communicate or not. And it is a very serious decision. Because this big opportunity is like, you can't fight gravity slipping away. Somebody needs to get unstuck, step outside of their comfort zone before it's really gone, whatever it is. Ah, it's like taking a long time to really think about something. Misery. <laughs> Ooh. You know, this is in regards to relationship. It's in regards to happily ever after it is. It's like, do I want this relationship or not? Somebody is really taking their time. to consider whether they want a reconciliation reconciliation or not a reconciliation sorry I don't know why that came out like that I say this word all the time yeah somebody's really thinking about whether they want a reconciliation a lot or not okay and it's like there's a lot of opposition there is a, do I do I dare to communicate 
do I have the ability to communicate effectively? Um, is it too late? Is it too late? It feels like somebody is afraid to step outside of their comfort zone, um, but they see that the opportunity is absolutely slipping away. It looks to me like, um, you know, somebody is, is, has been trying to let go of the idea, trying to let go of the thoughts of a past relationship. They've been trying to let go of it waiting for it to end, you know, waiting for this to, to really end, you know, for, uh, this pain that has been keeping them stuck and waiting for it to just, you know, go away. But it's like, um, sorry about that. I shut this off. Um, yeah, somebody is this. It's like I've been waiting and waiting and waiting for the to to um, release, but it's like there's a there's like there's some sort of. I mean, this is. It's not over. It's not over. <laughs> something is not over. There's like unfinished business here. There's unfinished business where somebody just can't let go. They can't let go. They can't release. And it's like they think they think that, you know, is there another chance? Is there another chance? Somebody is holding on to a situation, not communicating, very stubborn, hiding, while they're hiding and not investing, while they're not nurturing a situation and not giving to it, the opportunity is slipping away. And somebody else is taking action. It looks like somebody else is swooping in for the gold, like I said. Somebody is swooping in for the gold. And that's what's going on here. So, and it's happening very, very fast. It's like there's, there's no time to waste. There really is no time to waste. It's really time for somebody to wake up. And stop playing games, stop juggling. We have somebody here that is really going back and forth with what they want. Trying to shut out their heart it's like not try, not using their heart, trying to be logical, right? I got to be logical here. Where's the heart? It's like there's an opportunity to end this difficult situation and be happy again. There is. But somebody needs to really be responsible and be practical. This is a test. It is. It's a test. It's a test. It's a test of, of love. It's like there's an opportunity for a reconciliation here if somebody could communicate but it's like they're trying they're thinking that you know they got to be cold and they got to be hard and they they got to stand their ground right they got to stand their ground all the while there's a relationship that is ending because of it because they just can't step outside of their comfort zone and speak their truth yeah, something is falling apart because somebody's not putting in effort and you can't fight gravity like I said. 
So it looks to me as though there is something that just isn't coming together because somebody isn't waking up. They're taking too long. They're taking too long to wake up. And wh whoever is the one that is waiting, it's getting old. It's getting old. So it looks like whoever the person is waiting, it's like I can't wait anymore for this opportunity that's never coming. It's time for me to take action. Fly away, you know? And somebody else is swooping in. Somebody else is swooping in to go after the goods. Somebody is just refusing to see the light. It's like refusing to be happy, not letting themselves be happy by playing games. And there's a lot of regrets. There's been a lot of hurt, a lot of sorrow. And it's like this person, all the person can see is, is the pain that this has caused. Not realizing that there's still an opportunity for love here. There is still an opportunity for love. If you could just... Look at what's available. Just because there's been some sort of hurt and, you know, there's been some bleeding doesn't mean that there's still not another... There's opportunity. I mean, there is opportunity for love here. Somebody needs to take action. Act now. Act now. Think later. Act. Take action right now because the opportunity is 100% slipping away. Okay? It is. This is a lost opportunity. That was a, It was a big golden opportunity that was stable and secure that is basically being thrown away because somebody cannot master their emotions and take action. It's like it's one big game. Yes, it's like it's one big game. It's like it's just a bunch of drama. A lot of inner conflict going on too. Whoever whoever is is uh refusing to communicate is really um trying to prove themselves. But the fact that they are being so petty, is causing the other person to give up. Because this other person doesn't want to compete. This other person doesn't want to play games. This person is giving up. I don't want to play games. Games, games. So we have somebody here that is giving up. And no longer wanting to move in that direction. I don't want to be trapped here anymore. And it's because they're dealing with another person who doesn't want to be held accountable for their actions. And it's not fair. It's not fair to be stuck and to be blocked from my happiness. So somebody is... Waking up in regard, this goes both ways, okay? This goes two different ways. Somebody is waking up in regards to a connection, in, in regards to a lost opportunity. Somebody is waking up. It's time to take action and stop playing this game. Because I'm not getting what I deserve. 
I'm not getting the justice I deserve by holding on to this dead end situation. And it's time for me to move on. So somebody is moving on. We have this other person who is slowly waking up. They're slowly, slowly waking up, but you know, it's like you can't, it's too late. It's too late. It is too late. It's too late. There's no more passion left. There's no more passion. There's no more desire. There's no more growth. And I feel like we have somebody here that is deciding to really block this player out of their life. Because this player took too long. Yep. Somebody's taking back control. Taking the lead. I'm going to dominate this situation. Yeah, we have we have somebody here that is deciding to protect themselves. Take control of their lives. And stop investing in a situation that's not going anywhere. Somebody's giving up. And they're blocking. They're blocking. Like blocking the competition, right? Somebody's blocking the competition or blocking the the players, the player. Or blocking the lost opportunity. It's like, you know what, I don't even need to look at you anymore. Because I want romance, I want a relationship, I want love. So somebody is headed in a new direction towards love. Yes. Somebody is headed in a new direction towards love. I got a new offer here. So it looks like somebody is broadening their horizons and receiving a new offer. Somebody is getting an offer that is stable. It's new. It's a new offer. Now, for some of you, this is an apology. I mean, this is an apology. Somebody may be coming back that has taken a really long time with some sort of apology. And they want to they wanna grow a relationship. Maybe this person's been blocked and now they're stepping outside of their comfort zone. For some of you, that is the case. For some of you, this is releasing and accepting a new opportunity. It could go both ways. It really could. This is for th this is not a private reading. This is a general reading for what? 20,000 people, 12,000 people. I mean, I mean, come on now. It's not a private reading. There's an opportunity opportunity for happily ever after and to end this difficult situation if this person acts with integrity and it tells the truth and it's just like that we have somebody here that is afraid to be or doesn't want to be held accountable for their actions and they know that the only way that they will have this successful relationship is to apologize and come with something solid but we have somebody here that really has a hard time with that does not want to be held accountable at all And it's like, maybe they see, maybe, because this is a wake-up call. Maybe they wake up and they're like, you know what, i got to apologize before it's too late. It's like we're at the end of the road. Let's get one of these. 
somebody has a new opportunity here. <laughs> that's that's no kidding. Okay, a new opportunity for a relationship. To start over. I mean, this is starting over. It is. But it comes with moral backbone and acting with integrity, whereas somebody hasn't acted with integrity. And this person is really wishy-washy back and forth, you know, thinking it, thinking with their mind and not their heart. There's more than one card. And they need to follow their heart. And thus they want to die lonely. I feel like it's this card right here. I don't know what it is, but I just feel like it's this card. Grounding. <laughs> This is a good card. Go deep. Explore your roots. Explore your roots. That's a good card. Take time to ground yourself in what is truly essential. Remember what's important in life. Remember what's important in life and let go of everything else let go of the busyness and the frenetic pace of life be present in the moment release the flurry of worry about the future or the rehashing of the past this is a time to engage and reflect it might be worth taking a second look at something you previously passed over Things may not always be as they seem. Look deeper into the situations and the relationships in your life. Explore your roots. Something that seems closed may in fact be just ready to open. If you go beneath the surface, you may find hidden gems of truth, light, and abundance. That's a pretty strong message. Good luck.